Hi, we have learned earlier that muscle spindle is involved in reciprocal inhibition while Golgi tendon organ is involved in autogenic inhibition. Now we are just going deeper into the structure of muscle spindle. In this picture, you can see there are two types of axons reaching the muscle spindle. One is called afferent and the other one as motor neuron. When muscle spindle is stretched, afferent nerves take signals to the spinal cord as well as to the higher centers in the brain, while efferent or motor neurons give signals to both agonist and antagonist muscle spindle. But these signals are not same, agonist muscle spindle contracts while antagonist muscle spindle relaxes. That means muscle spindle is not only a sensory organ but also has motor inputs. Alright, to brief it up, at any point muscle spindle is not only a sensory organ but has inputs to contract as well as to relax. While the circuit of Golgi tendon organ is very simple, it is purely sensory. All it does is sense the load and ask the muscle spindle of the same muscle to relax.